All right, guys. Mike Massey's not here this weekend, but we got a shot from him. All right. This is Discipline 3, 5B. This is a 10-point shot. This is one of the hardest shots in our program. This is called the circular draw shot. Two ball. Make the 8-9 combination without touching the two ball. All right. I point think draw there's shot. an audio now. Okay. We need to... Uh... Ten point draw shot. I don't ten point draw shot. Yeah, I don't remember which uh, shot number it was. We're in discipline three now, draw. This is a circular draw shot made famous by the Mike Massey, which you probably didn't get to hear there right before this. No, oh, nope. It's gotta catch the rail above the two and then come around the two and pocket the nine ball. Yeah, sorry if there were no audio earlier. Hopefully we're sounding okay now. Yep. Let us know if, uh, how the guys sound too. We've got uh, with their mics. Uh, all right. Oh, miscue. All right. This is final attempt worth eight points. We shoot so far on the outside on some of these shots, it's, we miss a few a lot. Last try, eight points. I sound fuzzy. Is that better? Maybe it's just me, maybe I'm fuzzy. There it eight points. 15 points now for Jason, uh, the Michigan team, Lynch. All right, break Here's the thing. Time. I've never made that in competition, ever. <laughs> First time for everything. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Yep, I got the uh, cameraman with us today, so you're getting all kinds of views and angles. Right on simple things out here. Jesse out there on the on the camera with us. So if you don't like the camera work, we know who to send uh, the angry emails to it. Yep. <laughs> Jesse. We'll give you all his contact information where to, where to send all the hate mail. All right, this is a 10-point shot on the first attempt. Ah, yep. Let's get it to the adjustment here. The first part, make the ball. Right now, it's only a one point right. game. It's 15 to 14 right now. Okay, apparently, our audio is coming through a little hot. Let me uh, let me work on that. I moved my mic away from my mouth a little bit to see if that helped too. Oh, it is. Oh, you made it. You make the first ball. You got to go. Oh, I got the Didn't make the corner ball. So it's got to go. Didn't make the corner ball. He had the stroke. Ooh, he had the stroke. Testing, testing. How does that sound? Is that better? Let us know. All right. Come on, buddy. I want to see you make. Yeah. I'd love to see you make this, but not against me. <laughs> All 
right, final attempt for Brian Pauly here. It's worth eight points. Uh, uh, good swing. Give him a round of applause. That's a tough shot, guys. Good pick. Woo! One of these days, I'm going to get by the skin of my skinny skin teeth there. All right, Brian, you're choosing just one four, buddy. Moving on to the follow, just one. This is four C. Four C. Four C. This one. Now, what do you think it is? The zigzag shot. This is uh, Brian's right. forte. The follow shots. You're gonna see a lot of nine and ten pointers from us, I guess. This is worth nine points. As you can see there. So what Brian is setting up is a little carom zigzag shot. You'll see the 12 throws into the end rail, and you'll see a roll of blocking balls in the center of the table. The cue ball is going to hit the 12, tear them out, come off the three balls, and go forward to make the eight ball, nine ball combination. This is a nine point shot. Nice. Brian Polly for nine point. Little pinball shot. He's pinballing through there. A lot of force follow into this rail. Oh, so close. Second attempt coming up. It's going to be worth eight points. Now, keep in mind, guys, we learn these shots on a nine-foot pool table. So it's a little bit easier on the seven-footer. The distances are shorter, but the angles change. So in preparation for this little exhibition, We've had to change our shots, change our locations, our aim points, everything to adjust here. Second attempt coming up. This is worth eight points. You'll get to see a couple, hopefully a couple of trick shot tournaments from us this year. Looking at two of them right now. Eight points. Eight points. Second attempt. Uh, Brian goes to 22. And, and if you, you go, Brian. You probably didn't get to hear us. Um, how this works is... Uh, yeah, we get to explain it all over again. Uh, or you get to. They are... They, uh, Lag for the break. Uh, I knew it. Or for, knew it for choice. First choice. And, um. This is true. They, he picks uh, odds or evens of their disciplines. I know the shot Jason, uh, before I choose them. Jason picked odds. I don't see that second picture. All right, nine ball corner pocket. Okay, so anyhow, I was explaining uh, scoring and everything here. Um, so Jason picked the odd disciplines. They have eight different disciplines. Um, so Jason gets the odd numbered ones. Each dis each shot has its own uh, numbered value, what it's worth in points. First shot is worth the full value. Next shot is minus a point. Next shot, minus a point. They get three points. Three tries each. And they continue this for up to 16 shots or until mathematically one guy cannot uh, be, be caught or the other one can't win, however you want to say it. Yeah, what she said. There's, uh, you know, draw, follow, mass say, jump, um trick um and uh yeah, the trick and fancy shot trick, trick and fancy and artistic 
So but they have eight different disciplines that they uh, pull out of their book. has 120 different shots in it. And uh, we're going to see 16 of them, hopefully, tonight. It's going to go the distance. Uh, we are coming to you live today, guys, from Eastside Billiards in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Good choice, Brian. Zero points. Good choice. So that's Jason stays at 15. Thank you. And we are now going into some kicking, as it sound, as sound like that. It would be our next discipline. It is Jason's pick. Former bank kick world champion, so let's see what he pulls out here. Five B. Five B. Do a ten point shot. Five B. All right. Some of you guys have seen this shot on YouTube. This is the very popular Efren Reyes. F and Ray's kick shot. Z kick. Where he kicks the 10 ball up, comes back, hits the cue ball, goes in the side. Discipline five. Five B. Or four B. So Jason's going to shoot the one ball up on the foot rail. It's going to come back, hit the cue ball, go in the side pocket. That's the F and Z kick. Isn't it? No. Okay, that's it right there. So am I seeing this cue ball stops and the one ball goes off of the cue ball into the side pocket? Oh, that's a neat shot. I'd like that one. Right, I'll make it. I'd have to remember that one. <laughs> and the crazy thing is, for those of you who have seen this video, Efren gets shape on this ball and then hits it. So we're setting it up for that shot. Efren got shape on it and hit it. This just shows you how good Efren is. <laughs> All right, second try, nine points. Oh, by the way, if you like the camera work, then you can thank me. It's all, it's all me. Yes, that's true. <laughs> that looks like pretty good. It's in there. No, that's a nine, nine points. points. Nine points there for the Michigan kid. All right. Up by two points now. Don't know it's done, Brian, Superman, Polly. Hey, wait, he's Team Ohio. Bad boy. See, you hit that forever. But, but we like Brian. And we like Jason. We like them both. Can we root for both? Nicole Williams, room owner. Uh, her and her husband, Rich, on uh, East Side Billiards. Doing a, trying to, they're doing a lot for pool up here in Michigan, trying to get things going again for us. <laughs> no. I'd, this is definitely one I might want to, you know, maybe the ball doesn't go in that corner. But if it doesn't go in the corner, can you shoot this shot? I guess you could, huh? No. Oh, almost had it the first time there. So, welcome, Curtis. Curtis, how are we? A little something different for you, some trick shots. And then tomorrow we're going to get to see the women's team. What time are we uh, starting tomorrow? 10 a.m. In the morning. Then I have in the morning Eastern time. <laughs> How are you, friends? Okay. 
Yeah, it's Brian's uh, mic rubbing on his shirt. We hear it, but uh, most of that gets filtered out. The audience doesn't hear a lot of that. Okay, good. Is there any magic filter? That looks good. good there. Oh. All right, one last try. Worth eight points. And for eight points. Yep, this is a ten point shot. Hands together for him. Woo Third attempt worth eight points. Chris, Chris, Chris recovering from COVID? That's what he's saying. Well, hope you uh hope you get better there, buddy. This pocket. This pocket. <laughs> nice. No nice bank. Uh, Good shot. All right. No points for Brian. Jason, man. I got to do something, Brian. You're whooping me. What do I pick against you in stroke? What's that? What do I pick against you in stroke? Oh, pick a fun one. A fun one? Yeah, let's do a fun one. All right. Score at the end of four or four disciplines or five. Into five disciplines, guys. It's only a two-point gap right now. 24-22. Hey, our score matches theirs. Hey, hey. That's why that last for long. 3B. What is it? 3B. 3B. Rendezvous. Six. Six. Oh. Six. Shot 3B. Rendezvous. Superman. Yep. Come uh, his own right. It's called a rendezvous shot. This is made famous by Sebastian Giamelli. Our artistic pool player from Argentina, and this is his creation. Three B, three B. So you'll see Brian's got a rack set up here on the table. He's going to set a roll of balls here, and what's going to happen is he's going to hit a little mass A stroke, hit a ball into the balls, dislodge one. It'll sit in the rack, and the cue ball will flip around with a little mass A stroke and make it off the rack. So we don't oh, need to. We don't need to put up the graphics here. Nah. Let's put the graphics. Jason will just describe it off for us. He's good at that. This is an eight-point shot. This one's this one's cool looking when it goes. Four well, four ball gap. Four ball gap. Okay, let's go. Uh, and uh, you know, there's you know, got a, a four ball gap between the eight and the um, eleven there. All right, so the 11's going to go off the one. It's going to chain reaction all the way down here. Move the five into the rack, and the cue ball's going to come around that eight ball and make this ball. Ah, uh, didn't curve. Mm -hmm. uh, close. Real close to getting more time on that ball, and he's got it. This is a seven pointer on the second try, guys. This is not an easy shot. There's just the thinnest of gaps between the cue ball and the object ball here. Can you get. Somebody said they can't hear. Can you kick? Can you kick with something just a little bit? Is it okay? Yeah. Twenty-four, twenty-two in favor of me. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. He's coming. There we go. That's the second one. Seven points. Just barely. Up to 29. 
Ryan. Oh, it's in the table. Or you can use the red rack. Yeah, use uh, use the Superman rack. Oh, anyway. <laughs> um, Jason says no. I got my own. You're lucky. I'm such a nice guy. Blue rack. <laughs> now let's get a look at that fancy blue rack. And um, no, it's a Delta. No, uh, it's uh, he doesn't have a custom one like uh, like Brian does. No, he's, exactly. not, he's not cool like Brian. All right. All right, so Jason's doing a different approach. He's using his break cue for this shot. Sometimes we use a lot of different cues for each shot. That's why we both have a case that holds 20 cues. I haven't decided this is what I want to do yet. So I don't want to shoot this with a block and jump it. Yeah. Going back to the shooting cue. All right, Jason's try. Eight point shot. First try. All right, five in the corner, 11 on the side. No. Nice shot. Right, it is. First try with the points. First try. Eight points, 32 for Jason. <clears throat> Stends his lead by one more point. We are moving on to discipline number seven. Do you think it's a chase jump category? Jump. I'm going to say it's going to be so six pack. Champions. This ought to be interesting. I'm thinking he's going to do the six pack. Yeah, this is the one he was practicing. That's the one they all do. It's the highest point value on that. And, uh, Well, wait, wait, he, he hasn't yeah. called it yet, but I'm, you know, we know it's what he's going to shoot. <laughs> Got a sneaking suspicion. 2B. 2B. Oh, it's not. Here's. No, a close jump shot. Yep. Well, that's right. Theo, the blood shark, Mahalis. The chat that's room says, that's close. Jump shot here. I don't know Brian fix it. We'll be having a uh, challenge. Jason's going to set up a uh, row of blocker balls, two ball gap from the rail, and the cue ball is going to be frozen to an object ball. He's going to cut the ball in, jump over the balls, make a ball in the corner pocket. Todd, say hello to Jesse too, even though he can't see you. Todd says hello. Hmm. We got a good score. Woohoo! All right, this is a seven point jump shot. All right, so I got to make the one ball here in the corner. I'm going to jump over the roll balls without hitting it and pocket the seven also. But I can't disturb these. And that looks like a Marty Carey jump cue if I've ever seen one. It may not be, but it looks like a Marty Carey jump cue. It does look like one. Ooh. Oh, man. Off, Almost. Off, I'm making an adjustment. Offline just a little bit there. It goes from a seven point to a six point jump shot. It does. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
Oh, he's shooting again. He's shooting again. Ooh. Oh, 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 I went the other way. I dusted the wrong way. The wrong way. All right, now the shot's worth five points. Last attempt for your hometown boy, Jason Lynch. Third time is the charm. I don't know that. With five points. Five points brings him to 37. Is your might important? Thirty-seven twenty-nine right now. Mm -hmm. Hey, I get, that's the same score we all got. Uh, I don't know. That was QB. Thirty-seven and twenty-nine, guys. Some nice camera work there by Jesse. This is a seven-point shot. If Brian makes this on the first attempt, he pulls within one. Hey, here's a red and blue uh, jump that I'm at last time. And it is now the first try. It's a jump with them to attain one. Seven points. Seven, seven, eight, seven. With the Superman cue. <laughs> we are 37 to 36. I got him by one point, guys, so far. And he's choosing the Massé. Massé shots. Oh, Here we go. Now, after we finish the eight different disciplines, Brian and I will choose shots from anywhere in the program. Four apiece. Four apiece. So we're about halfway through the match right now. One point gap. So... 2B. 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 Massé shot 2B. That is a seven-pointer. The machine gun Massé. Yep. We got a break call somewhere. Machine gun Massé. This one's really cool looking, too. All right, now, guys, if you watch the ESPN at all, you see Trick Shot Magic. This is the only shot from Trick Shot Magic that was ever shown on Wide World of Sports is the shot of the day. So we call this machine gun man say shot because when you hit this, the cue ball caroms off all the object balls and it sounds like a machine gun. And Jesse's got front row seat over there. Yeah, he's got a nice seat over there. We're way over here in, uh, yeah. the, next, in the next county. Can't even see the table from over here. Right. Right. Good thing we got these monitors. Well, exactly a ball with off the rail. This is an bro. The three clubs. There we go. All right. There we go. Got to them all. Make sure they're all there. <laughs> got to follow the rules. Yep. All right. So the more pool balls in front of the object ball, the faster we can actually bring the cue ball back. So he's got 18 ounces to push against to bring that cue ball back down the line to make the eight ball. Machine gun mass say this is a seven point shot. <laughs> this is two B. This one would be cool on our Whitman light overhead camera. <clears throat> Thank you, Mike Littman, for our beautiful light. Yes. Thank you, Mike. Check the oh, yeah. another gas.
trying to get that cue ball where we're parallel with that rail so all the force gets pushed in and out of that line of balls. Second attempt, we worth six points. Ooh. He's playing good. He's playing good. Yeah, so you all might not have heard either, um, or I guess their audio wasn't working at the beginning. Brian and Jason just are guys, dedicating. This is the opening act for the major, major thing that's happening this weekend. This, this is a uh, border battle between the women from Ohio and the women from Michigan. So stick around Saturday and Sunday. We got some great players coming in here in this arena. Can you turn Jason down, please? So Jason and um, Brian have dedicated this match to two gentlemen. Um, one of them is uh, Harry Polly, Brian's father, who passed away from um, COVID-induced pneumonia. And um, Curtis, the redneck Q guy, Robert Robinson, Robertson, um, who is a uh, famous trick shot guy, um, passed away in October of last year. Get some words on the two of them, then I'll be telling you a little more about them. Uh, apparently, this guy made uh, made Mike Mass or not Mike Massey, um, Tom Rossman, a Q. That is supposed to be just absolutely beautiful. All right, let's get Jason back up here. Brian. Yeah, attempt number two. Oops, man. <laughs> Jumped out of it. The girl was like, hey, man, put it on that table. <laughs> Come on, give us some encouragement. You got this, buddy. Come on. Uh, and uh, right down the road, you can. Brian is uh, the trick shot guy for Team Ohio. Jason, the Michigan kid, uh, Lynn is uh, from uh, Michigan. Both trying to get their states off to a good start here this weekend. Third and final attempt. So five points. Come on, there's a get, get up. I got stuck. Woo. No points again. Good to the bottom. Good swing, baby. Thanks. Leaks. Leaves in my 36. Let me sweat. Good swing, Brian. Good shot, buddy. Uh, T.S. Billiards, this is a seven-foot diamond a table. Discipline. Everybody loves mass A shots, except full of the motors. <laughs> it tried so hard to get there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just it, it even it rocked. It it threatened to fall. Oops! Nice camera work there by Jesse. Oops, wrong. I'm still, I'm still trying to figure this out. I'll get the hang of it eventually. Yep. Uh, Lighthouse Society. Yes, this is a trick shot uh, right. challenge match uh, to start off the weekend for the channel. Of Eleven balls make the eight ball. Eight, eight balls, side pocket. Uh, women's uh, battle for the border that will start tomorrow at. 10 a.m. Eastern Time. 10 a.m. in the morning East, Eastern Time. After the guys are done with this here, they're going to have a meet and greet with some of the women. Um, if you're in the area, 
and you don't have a ticket for tomorrow and Sunday, you might want to come down tonight because there may not. There it is. It's not tasty. So the first attempt. All right, so now we're halfway done. Now we're on the wild card. Round. Seven so now we get to pick from anywhere, pretty much what we do. And Jason has the first shot since he went first. <laughs> you hit that good. Hey, a little gas. <laughs> Uh, T.S. Billions wants to know they um doing a race to nine with eight shots or 16. They're going, they're doing 16 yeah, shots. And, I know it. And like this would be the, the semis. This one is coming as well. Or the finals. No, man, say, here we go. This is the shot he's known for besides the circle draw. This is put eight shot four A. What he's going to do is he's going to put a rack up here. So until cue ball is in hand in the rack. He's going to jump the cue ball out of the rack without touching it. Go past the second diamond, mass eight back, and make the nine ball. All right, you ball can't make shot. contact with the rack coming backwards, just not out. Going to send out a uh, thank you to Abram Diaz, one of my sponsors. He made this mass eight cue. I think Brian's got the same cue. Abram Diaz, tall. too tall. Abram, too nine tall. Ball. Diaz. Mm -hmm. Almost. All right, so break one shot, now go to eight. <laughs> <laughs> he turned the wrong way. <laughs> Had his cue set to the wrong station, apparently. <laughs> That's okay. Well, he had it on the wrong setting. It's your own teammate. Oh, wait, third time's a chance. Sorry. All right, this is a little work. Yeah. This game's table don't work. We're going to go down here. Oh. That's the thing with artistic pool. We can switch sides of the table, shoot a mirror image, shoot into the table. All right, last try, seven points. All right, now he's using, uh, he's using Brian's rack. Upside down. Now it's not going to work either. Yeah, all, the it's upside down. all the superpowers are going to fall out. There it is. There it is. I did. Seven points. I think that's the softest I've ever seen you hit that shot. <laughs> Okay, one points for Jason. Oh man, Woo. Brian really needs this shot. Uh, we're doing this until one of them is mathematically Great. eliminated, or you know, up to sixteen shots. Sorry, that would have been shot number nine. That's say. Shot number ten coming up. Four A. Seven. Seven points. Well. All right, now what we're doing is we're choosing from anywhere in the program right now. Shit, Brian and I are both choosing four shots from anywhere in the program, so eight more shots in the match here. No, but they can't choose the same shot twice. So it's like a game of horse. So, yeah, you know, a person shoots a shot and the other person shoots a four, and we can't double a discipline up. So we can't, I can't shoot two mass eight shots in the last eight shots. All right, we're all in agreement. <laughs> Come on, Bob. No. They grabbed the wrong one. Yeah. They just changed the direction. Second attempt <laughs> with eight points here. Second attempt will be worth eight points. No. <laughs> the girls are cheering them on. Don't let him talk you in that, Brian. <laughs> well, see, Brian's got the rack the right way. So this will work. Now he took a picture with Roberto 
a few day a week or so ago and you know the two supermans but you know they both play different types of pool and mm -hmm. i was it's like i'm seeing double <laughs> Roberto Gomez, if you guys don't know who I'm talking about, I'm sure everybody does. Come on, Bob. Oh, oh I'm glad was going to sing back. Yeah, that would have been cool from way up there. Right, Brian, right in between the two. Third attempt, worth seven points. See, now they are using a cloth underneath this ball. Oh, no, I didn't stop it from no pictures. Try to stop it from damaging the table some. Right now we are 51 to 36. Brian's first pick. There are seven shots left in the match, guys. Seven shots left. Brian has four picks. I have three left. Uh, discipline seven can shot anywhere in the program. Discipline seven, five B. He's going with jump. The six bat. Which is jump. Five and B. Six back. One of Brian's favorite shots. Yep. What if it's his favorite, but he shoots he practices a lot. I know that. Abby shoots this shot really good. That is his favorite. Yeah. Part. Can I be to show you? Six is, that, is that his last yeah, name? Show you. Like, let me show you. Let's show you. This is the 10 point shot. I'd like to say hey to all of the trick shot guys out there that are watching right now. Our um, I guess PS players will probably be one of I them. Uh, the you know, the Let's say discipline. Uh, uh, the blood shot. Yes. Say is that correct, Brian? Sir, Jamie. So my name is a pick. Uh, uh, are you Moody is probably watching. Um, jump picks are used up after this shot. And uh, let's see who else is probably out there watching. Uh, Rob Peacock. I don't know his name. His name, uh, nickname. And um, Andrew, the driver, Sozio. Right, here we go. One-handed, one-handed jump shots. And when Gabby does this shot, he does it time, doesn't he? It's got to be within so so many seconds. I, I, I don't. I may have been on Trick Shot Magic or something. I watched him do this, and it was had to be done. He touched moves. it. He's not allowed to move the other balls. It has to be done without moving one the ball. One of the balls moved in the rack. So we're going to attempt one of the two. instructions in this shot. As you dump these balls, you cannot disturb any one of the other balls in the rack, or you cannot touch the rack of the ball jumping out. Yep, I was about to say so you something coming up that there. was nine points. He beat me to it. Yep. And you know, it's another thing, you know, making that it, it being one handed so so much harder that you can't even just tap the top of another ball. No. Oh, all right. Final attempt coming, attempt up. coming up. This will be worth eight points. Yeah, Paul and I, you know, I almost forgot. Uh, Abram Tuzal Diaz hopefully is tuning in from. Uh, I think he lives in Arizona. As uh, you heard uh, Jason saying earlier, he uh, makes their um, most of the guys. Uh, their mass AQs. Oh, he pocketed the ball. Doesn't that count? Yeah, he made it. Woo. All right. He's going to take his stuff away and let Jason use it this time. <laughs> I'm taking my racket yeah. with me. It's getting real now. Now these guys are so good at that. Uh, was it the uh, um, 
Jamie Moody telling me about the first time he ever played in a turn, you know, trick shot tournament. Right. And uh, he was playing against, I think he was playing um, against uh, Abram, and Abram let him borrow his cue, and he ends up beating, you know, beating him on the shot with it. And yep. Stuff. Uh, yeah, these guys are so courteous to each other and just respectful. And usually, when you see them at their events, they would they would be wearing have to be wearing um, vests. Dress pants, dress shoes, dress shirt, and a vest. Yep. Oh, yeah. Brian knows I don't like this shot. That's why he picked it. <laughs> That's why I picked it. I can't believe I missed it either. <laughs> I'll tell you, it might have been an equalizer if he made it. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Uh, uh, there's that uh, that one wing shot, too, that Brian hits. Uh, he's hit a couple of times on in a couple of tournaments that we've done, that uh, follow arc. I'm saying I can't shoot it. I, I, would be, like... I wouldn't be surprised if he uh, picks that no. shot here, the, you know, like his next shot or the one after. Mm -hmm. Really, really tough shot. Oh, there, no good. I heard it before I saw it. <laughs> His girl's rooting him on. Hey, at least I got all mine out of the rack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't. You still have some left. These guys are good. I, got, I, I didn't get the rack coming out on any of them. I'll say, oh, okay. road buddies and uh, Jason has bit. actually been kind of like his uh, mentor for quite a few I'm years. Make it this time. Brian is the uh, president of uh, the World Pools Artistic uh, Division. Hit the rack on the way out oh, there. Sorry, worth eight points here. Eight points. This could put, if Jason doesn't get this one here, it could put Brian back into this match here. He really needs a, 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 loosen your wrist a, up now. a goose egg from Jason. Halfway there. I'd have a hard time doing this with two hands. Yep. Oh, one more. There it is. Was that a ten? That's eight, 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 eight points. Eight points. Eight points. Eight eight points. points. That's a little bit. Fifty-nine. Jason gets to pick his second wild card pick. I missed the scoring update, apparently. Yeah, she did. It's 36 to 59. 36 59 is what I have. It's what they have over there. Let's see here. Um, let's go. This one four. Discipline four four B. Discipline four four B. Hey you. The out of my way shot. Yep. This, this one is cool. Ever. <laughs> four four B. All right. So what Jason's yeah. going to do is going to set up three balls on each diamond in the long rail. What he's going to do, he's going to shoot the cue ball into the one ball. Nine one points. ball is going to bank into the two, clear out of the way, and the cue ball is going to follow it right up the rail and make the nine ball. All right, guys, she's the nine ball. Right. Get those out of Get those two balls out of the way. Move. I can pick one from the same. Get out the way. Yeah. Yes. Okay, you're, you don't have a playoff scene. You can pick from four. She doesn't have a playoff four seat. Ah, that's why. I'll explain to her. Yep. You're not getting that much. All right, so we're picking eight shots. These are four. We're going to go four more. 
But these are already the ones we already shot. Now we can pick them anywhere. Yeah, so. Sorry. All right, we're all on the same page now. We're all on the same page now. All right, here we go. All right, make hit the one, make the nine. Nine ball in the corner pocket. All right, now comes the eight point shot. The trick about this shot is getting at the right angle mm -hmm. the one and two ball, get out of the way and not hit the nine. Second attempt, eight points. <laughs> nice shot. Yeah. And that's all of them. Just for good measure. Eight points. There you go. 67 points for Jason. No, 66. 67 is eight points, right? If that is worth eight points on a second attempt. Eight points. That's my uh, that's my that's my cue to update the score to sixty seven. Got it. Sixty eight. So if you've uh, just recently joined us. We're just having a little bit of fun with some uh, trick shot pool tonight, getting ready for the Women's Battle for the Border starting tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Well, it's Eastern U.S. time. Okay. No score on the first attempt. Second attempt will be worth eight points. Score is Second attempt. Nice. Eight points for Brian there. Right, Eight no, points for Brian. Brian. Okay. Forty-four. Yep. My math is correct. Is correct. Let's do another uh, nine-point follow shot. All right. Four A on follow. Follow discipline. Four A. I don't know what discipline that is. Well, this is the one I thought he was going to shoot. Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay, thank you. The window shot. Yeah? No? I think so. We have, this is the follow discipline, right? Yep, yep, that's all right. That's what he's doing. That's what he's setting up. Yep. Uh, all right, uh, here is a nine point shot coming at you. And this is this one four, four A. This is affectionately known as the window shot. Brian knows I hate this shot. I really do. <laughs> and I love this shot. That's where it comes down to knowing the guy you're playing against and picking stuff that you like that he doesn't like and take a look at that last get out of my way four a nine point five this one four four a ah stop it there we go wow. 
All right, so he's going to hit into the two ball. The two ball's going to bank. One goes on the side. Three in the corner. Two ball goes through the window without breaking it. And pocketing the nine in the corner pocket. This is a nine point shot. Kelsey Hoyt is now here. There it is. First, oh, he missed the two. Oh, oh, oh. He caught the window, too. He got the hardest, hardest part of the shot. It was arcing through that window. It worth eight points. Yeah. Adjust and uh, hit it again. But, I mean, he hit it with the perfect stroke there. <clears throat> yeah, that cue ball went exactly where he wanted to. He's that pesky ball in bank cross side. The nerve. Do you know if anybody is anybody running fifty fifty raffles at all? <laughs> Should be. Well, in that time he made all the uh, object balls, except he didn't make the nine. Yeah. Come on, Brian. Back down the point. One, one more swing. <clears throat> A little more high. A little more high. All right, let's get this one, Brian. You got this, Brian. Make him sweat. Hey, he probably already is, but make him sweat more. <laughs> That we are watching the, the the prelude to the women's battle for the border, Michigan versus Ohio. The men had won. Uh, Ohio defeated Michigan, so Michigan's trying to get one back here with the start you know, this weekend, and maybe two of them starting off with uh, Jason here trying to bring one home for Team Michigan. Now this does not count. Oh, oh, no. This doesn't count. Three, three attempts, Brian. Towards the point for the women, this is kind of bragging rights. And you like break it. Brian shot there. Now if Jason makes this one. He, he could a, not possibly. Um, my favorite shot. Maybe be over after the next shot. Because if it you know, becomes my favorite shot. possible for Brian to to overtake him, it would end. And that's the way they play their tournaments too. Yeah, they don't want to beat that dead horse. No. How many shots are left? Is it two after this or three? Two. Two each. Yeah, I don't know what shot number we're on. I'm like at life. I think this is Jason's. Third pick. So that's this the second or third pick. Well, this was Brian's pick. Okay. So this is Brian's second pick. So yeah, so they should each well, have. I'm gonna put as much top as I can on this sucker. <laughs> I'm gonna move the nine ball out a little more. Was Brian just trying to tell him what to do? <laughs> trying to help him out. Help a brother out. All right, here we go. Nine points. No window shot. One on the side, bank the two, three in the corner. Keep on through the gap of the nine. What he said? No, no through the gap. Listen with this. This shot isn't that hard on a nine footer. On a seven footer, this shot's actually pretty tough. 
Yeah, here's where the you know shorter table, like Brian was just saying, the shorter table really comes into play here because you don't have as much room for that cue to arc that, uh, through there on the seven foot table. Get through there and yep. continue to arc at towards the pocket, which is why Brian told me should move that ball out a little bit, of, you know, more away from the pocket. So, yeah, I want to thank Eastside Billiards for hosting this event. It's going to be an amazing event for this weekend. Give a round of applause for Eastside Billiards for women's border battle. We're oh. letting us enough heads come out here and do some stuff. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, a lot of these shots, a lot of these shots are easier on nine foot tables. There, a lot of these are harder on the seven footer. Well, uh, there's uh, talks uh, already in the <clears throat> things already happening for uh, East Side doing a uh, trick shot tournament this year. Maybe. Well, you're paying attention. Oh, set up. That's a two ball gal for the window. That's all. Hosting the one that used to be at Jamaica Joe's. Uh, Jamaica now Joe's hosted for years for them, and uh, their building sold, and they're in. Uh, Oklahoma City, right? Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, where's where they were? That is so close. You're you're right there. I gotta get the, I gotta carry them off that ball a little more. So this may uh, replace uh, Jamaica Joe's. I think I'm making an adjustment. Man, no, I mean, See if we can get it on his third try. Big shout out to Rich, Rich and Nicole Williams and Eastside Billiards for they're doing all kinds of stuff to you know, so for pool here in Michigan lately. Trying to get us back to playing these and doing it safely. Wild card picks. I have to say, yeah, we had that tournament here. We're getting here. close to the end of the match here. Had the tournament here about a month ago. And I, you know, uh, there's all kinds of other tournaments that were happening during COVID. When Last people try. We're trying to open. And you, you know what's them points? About all of these people catching it. I did not hear about one COVID case that came out of the tournament here uh, a month ago. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I was... Uh, Oh, I'm curious about that, and I've not heard anything either. Yeah, no, and I hope no it's good try. All right. Okay, well, I missed it. Zero on both players. That was going to be a game changer if I make that. I agree. All right, what do you got for me? Oh, why not? Now, there was actually at one point a turn. Yeah, this very good draw. Don't you dare! <laughs> hey, uh, at uh, a pool room in Texas. Really? I actually had to shut down oh, because of it. You picked some foul already. You did the jelly, so you can't pick that. Oh. Uh huh. Trying to sneak up on you. Brian's like, I've been paying attention. <laughs> I know what you pay. Speed skater. Speed Speed skater. This is bank kick shot, nine point bank kick shot. Bank kick. I think it's the speedy skater is what it uh, is uh, listed as. The speedy skater. The split five shot, four C. Now you're going to put some hardware out on the pool table here. <laughs> Here comes all the extra cues that these why these guys carry around a case that you know looks like it, you, you could move in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you swear these guys are uh, are cue salesmen with the yeah the the cases. Almost got a look at it there. Yeah, There's a little dark, a little dark, dark over on there. there. Maybe we can get a better look at Jason's. Can we see Jason's out there? There's Jason. See all the butt, all the end of it sticking up out of the case. There's probably got about a minute to place this thing's cases in there. <laughs> or cues in there. He's going to freeze the cue ball. And Brian, I'm just going to give us a little mark so you can place. Okay. All right. He's going to be well, nice on the He's going to freeze the cue ball and an optic ball together. He's going to shoot the optic ball down in this pocket. Cue ball is going to go four rails, then hit the sticks, come down another two rails, make the nine ball on the side pocket. Again, this is why we got cases to carry 20 Q sticks. Now where you can move a house. <laughs> Bank Mark, center of it. All 
right, so one in the corner. Cue ball is going to go one, two, three rails. Hit the two sticks. Go two more rails and make a lift on the side. Get it, Jason. Get it. Get you some. Okay. Time, baby. There it is. Time, baby. There it is. There it is. Sorry, the other side is on the other side. Oh, wait, oh, missed it. It's not playing those. Do I have adjustment there to those two? Thank you. Some video. Jason's going to show that nine ball who's boss. <laughs> this will probably a little slight adjustment of the cues there. No, yeah, well, thank you, finest Evans. Finest events. That's a, that's a Mahalis. Ah, same shot, but that goes in too. Mahalis. <laughs> I don't know if it's Theo or his dad. I think that's the name of his, oh. his company. That's not going to get by there. there. Right. One more attempt. Take it off. If you don't know who uh, Theo is, uh, uh, please go check him out on uh, YouTube. The young man is a uh, trick shot protege. He's not just a protege. He's. What goofball came up with this guy? This year. I lean, but I'll shoot it. Uh, be, you know, be one of the best uh, trick shot artists in the world. Last try. Seven points. English. He's come up with some pretty cool shots of his own. I've been watching the uh, videos that he's putting out. That might be better. Uh, looks like it's oh. Oh. Wow. big zero. Wow. You want to use these? No, I'm good. So two shots in a row. <laughs> they used to be my favorite shot. Used to be my favorite shot, not anymore. <laughs> yeah, big shout out to uh, <clears throat> our friend. You know why you missed it? You got this Michigan color out here. Oh. <laughs> Well, <laughs> of course, you know, I had to. Uh, Mike Littman, who's uh, provided the light in the, uh, where we've got our oh, overhead. To the basketball thing. Our Littman light overhead camera. There it is. Also, also a sponsor of Theo Mahalis. Mahalis. See the line right here? Yeah, you'll see the little chalk yeah. mark there. You got it. Go. Cool. That's one. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, stupid yeah, job. They're doing this. Uh, they're like, this it's rails. I don't know why it wouldn't go. Stupid shot. <laughs> and everybody thinks, oh, those setup shots are so well, easy. Well, yeah, no, you have to have it exact. What it was, the practice table was playing a little differently. And I, I made that three times on this table, but it's gotten humid in here. So it's not going as long. You're not a true uh, trick shot artist until you have a whole list of excuses ready to go on a moment's it's notice. Just wedge. It's not going anywhere. It's a mass AQ, which is like 28 ounces. So. No, it's it's solid in there. It's not going anywhere. No, nah, he's talking about the cue that the cue ball is actually the ball is actually going to run into. Oops, that didn't work. No score on the first attempt. Second attempt, we're worth eight points. No. <laughs> okay. I like this shot better on a nine footer. What's the pool all junkies lying? I know how fast he can run because I brought him. <laughs> I bet you I can tell you where you got your shoes at. <laughs> on, on your feet. On your feet. All right. Second attempt for Brian on this. Yeah, we're going to have a whole list of sponsors and stuff to go through this weekend. These ladies did a fantastic job getting together. Third attempt to seven points. You can see some of them there in the background on the uh, the cards. 
You'll be able to see them around the uh, arena as we show you different camera angles this yep, weekend. Uh, it's got a whole bunch of silver and bronze sponsors, uh, gold sponsors, and platinum sponsors. We'll get mentions on stream. Yep. So we got 10 gold sponsors and just to give you an uh, update, this is three of our platinum sponsors. But we would be we one, of those. Three three one of those. Three of them. Three of them. Would be one of those. Yes. Score right now is 67 to 44. Hey, that's what we got. All right, we're all in agreement. I like how it works out. Well, no score. No score. I don't like this shot on a seven footer. All right, Ed. All right, Ryan's Ryan's pick Ryan's pick we're now. Program. We're down to the last. Uh, you can't pick jump or follow. Three shots now, correct? Some will do something crazy. I'm going to pick a stroke shot against you. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Going to stroke. You can find the number. It's uh, with a whip draw shot. Whip draw. He's bringing it, guys. That's a, this this is a very one. difficult shot. The whip draw shot. Discipline six. This is discipline five six. Race. In our stroke shots. This is a 10 point shot. This is 5A. You'll need to connect on one of these attempts, Brian. What? Oh, oh. I was just telling Brian that uh, so this is do or die. Yeah, Brian desperately needs these points. He, he has to have points on this shot or else so that he he cannot win. Mm. And follow through this, draw back, make the four. Uh, what? You know, oh. score on the first attempt. Second attempt worth nine points. Oh. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I will have, uh, I don't know if the women have put up lineups. I will put up lineups tonight for tomorrow. Um, this is pretty much over. Three shots. So he's got to get he's, he's, he's pretty much he's, 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 he's pretty much got to make this in one of the attempts because it's the two shots left. It's only, you know, 20 some points. So he only goes to 10. So yeah, yeah, you hear Jason talking there. Yeah, like you can see the players do too when it comes down to that say brian makes this all jason's got to do is go up there and throw up like a little that's this look at that scratch it okay yeah but uh jason can come up here and put up like a point shot so now once he makes that it is impossible so for brian to win because he can't get enough points to win you know what i mean Yep. And, you know, you have to think about that mathematically, too, not just, oh, well, what can I do? What's a great... The object on this shot is two millimeters. So this is actually a legal stroke. You use what's called a full wet stroke. It's a really loose whip stroke. The cue actually deflects off the cue ball. So it's not a push. It is not a double hit. This is not a foul. The third shot. If Jason hits this on any attempt, the match is over. And no pressure. Now, we'll be uh, nine ball in the corner pocket. We'll be shutting down once this is over for the night too, and uh, they're gonna be I said having a meet and greet, and the girls are gonna be doing some practicing and stuff. Ooh, that's, that's, not that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Um, there may possibly be some seats available if you want to get down here and watch this. You get a whole new one. New one. What? I got a little more to that than I wanted. I think you did. Get a hold of Rich Williams at uh, Eastside Billiards and see if they have any seats available. Uh, because we are limited space. That's yeah. it. That's in there. Nice job. Um, that's your match. Jason Lynch. Cool, man. All right. Jason Lynch, you're champion, guys. One for Michigan. I gave you a run. You're good. Uh, let's get those uh, pictures up again, Harry, Polly. 
Let me get those up. This year we've got Brian Polly, Harry Polly, and yeah. Jason Lynch. Brian's father passed away from the uh, one of his job. And also Curtis, the redneck Q guy, Robertson passed away in October of last year. I'll get some words together. Maybe we can add it in later. I'll type it up. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that is going to uh, conclude our coverage uh, for tonight. For tonight. Yep. Yep. We will be back tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Eastern U.S. time. Hope you guys had some fun watching this. If you did, if you did enjoy it, hit that uh, one, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, ring that bell, and we'll be seeing you guys tomorrow.